understand that yes, national Sunday laws will come, persecution will come, but nothing of that sort is in the pipeline at the present time, nothing that we have understood. For students of prophecy, that statement he just made was pretty amazing, don't you think? What's also amazing is how many articles and videos are out there right now proving that Sunday laws are in fact in the pipeline. Notice this on my Sabbath attack page alone. I have many videos exposing how the powers that be in and outside the church are doing all they can to bring about Sunday laws all over the world. Yet, Ted Wilson says there's nothing in the pipeline. There are so many articles now, and some of them are real powerful evidences that Ted purposely hid the truth in that video. There are thousands of articles on this page alone that's scrolling before you, and I'm just one of many watchmen on the wall sharing this. Not to mention the millions of articles all over the world from people who have no idea of the prophetic realities in all this. And so I implore you, I implore all of you that are watching this video to seriously consider checking just a few of these articles out that are on this page so as to get an idea how much the Seventh-day Adventist leaders are ignoring. Your eternal lives are in abject danger now. And I'm certain if you just check out a few of the articles, you'll see what Ted Wilson just said was proof of a prophetic cover-up in the same way the Pope's climate change agenda is also a cover-up. In fact, just the other day it was declared, and many are now echoing this fact, that climate change is moving the nations towards the new global order. Yet again, Ted or any other SDA leader said nothing on this. And it's been going on for many years. It's now child's play to actually prove the powers that be are in fact pushing for Sunday laws all over the planet. Here's something to think about as well. It used to be that the Seventh-day Adventists were taught from both the Bible and Spirit of Prophecy that the Pope of Rome will use the natural disasters that herald the return of Christ as a way to bring on Sunday laws by claiming they don't herald the return of Christ and everyone needs to agree to keep Sunday holy so as to stop the disasters. When in fact, that's only going to make them worse by causing the seven last plagues to start. And now that those long prophesied calamities have not only started, but have actually increased to the point we have seen for years now, the prophecy of Hosea coming to fruition about all the animals, the birds, the fish, and the insects dying. And that's one of the final events prophesied before the mark is enforced. Yet has anyone heard any SDA preacher say anything about this? Worse yet, as prophesied, the Pope is right now pushing a climate change agenda that students of prophecy know this means he's already set the foundation for Sunday laws all over the world. He wouldn't be pushing his final agenda like this unless he knew his plans were already set in stone. Yet, the SDA leaders won't tell their flock why the Pope's doing all this. And Ted Wilson says nothing's in the pipeline when it comes to Sunday laws. And just so you know, What's happening in nature has nothing to do with global warming or even climate change for that matter. It has to do with the fact that our Lord Jesus Christ is coming soon. In other words, as Mount Sinai shook and burned at his presence descending upon it back in Moses' day, the entire planet is now shaking and burning as his date of arrival draws near. But because most have stopped reading their Bibles as the prophet Amos predicted, the Pope knows he can make the lukewarm Christians think that the natural disasters have nothing to do with Christ's return. In fact, he will soon convince them all the disasters can actually be prayed away, and especially so if the people keep the Roman Sabbath of Sunday holy, so as to make the fake Jesus of Rome think they have repented, and then he will supposedly stop the calamities, when in fact, that's when they go off the chart. And check out my climate change page when you get time, where I show 11 of my own videos, and hundreds of videos and articles from all around the world proving the Vatican is using the prophesied natural disasters to their advantage as we speak to make the case for religious laws. In so doing, all the people think it has nothing to do with the return of Christ again. And by the way, see my religious laws are coming page to confirm this when you get time as well. And because Satan knows his time is short, he has moved the Pope to try and quench the fear of the people when all the disasters started increasing because they started opening Bibles. The Pope publicly declared the end is not yet nigh to calm their fears regarding the calamities in the exact same way Ted Wilson just did 
for the SDA people, who for the most part do in fact know what these calamities actually mean. And no, I'm not trying to divide the SDA church at all, as some have claimed over the last few months due to all my videos exposing their leaders. The original truth as it was presented during the infancy of the church is still intact in the obedient people of God that have left the church to follow the Lamb whithersoever he goeth, as prophesied. The SDA leaders were instrumental in dividing the church long ago when they rejected Christ and his righteousness in 1888. That's why it's gotten so bad as it has today. And so when they asked Jesus to leave, his prophesied bride followed after him. In fact, I hope to share a video in the near future showing the differences between the statement of faith in the early days of the church with the statement of faith of the current SDA church. Every SDA that is honest is going to be shocked how their leaders have actually created a brand new denomination, but they kept the old name. That now means if you stay in the SDA church, you're actually shaken out of the true church that has never left the Lord's side. And so all I'm doing now is trying to get the serious Christians still in the SDA church to try and realize what their Bibles say so as to get them out of danger before the plagues fall and then it's too late. And have you noticed the SDA people that have opened their Bibles recently and were moved by the Lord to try and get the people in the church to see what's really happening? All of them, every one of these obedient Christians were kicked out of their churches to keep the rest of the people from hearing the truth that they were called to share. And what's really strange here is that most Seventh-day Adventists know all about those that have left as they have seen with their very own eyes how some people that they and everyone else understood to be strong Christians suddenly disappeared from the pews, either by choice or by being forced out by their government-approved pastors. But sadly, and as prophesied, many now worship the creature on the pulpit over and above the Creator who is forever blessed. These poor and precious souls who chose to stay in the apostate SDA church will do so at their own peril. Worse yet, to prevent them from leaving because they know they're on the edge, the leaders found that the best way to make them feel safe staying in the church was to move them to use Vatican-edited Bibles like the NIV. Have you noticed that lately? A lot of them use that NIV now. And they also got them to accept the edited Spirit of Prophecy books to make them feel as if those with the truth are lying to them and the wolves on the pulpits are the ones they can trust. Bottom line is this. All of this was prophesied to happen, and it's happening right now, whether you believe it or not. But until you open your eyes to read the real Bible and the unedited Spirit of Prophecy books, you cannot see what those that have been blessed by the Lord can see right now. The only way to understand prophecy is to obey the God that wrote it. Thank you for watching. God bless.